Well, over the weekend, governors from across the country met for the National Governors Association meeting in Nashville. Education reform wasn't on the agenda, but some Republican governors are calling for another big change in classroom curricula. New at 6 tonight, News 8's Leah Lynchide joins us now in our newsroom to explain. Mike, right now the academic standards for reading and math in Wisconsin are called the Common Core. Those standards were actually created by the National Governors Association along with some education groups and more than 40 states have adopted them in the past few years. But in some states, conservative governors are working to repeal those standards, including here in Wisconsin. So what would that mean for our local classrooms? Three years ago, Wisconsin schools began the switch to Common Core classroom standards. Yeah, That's challenge. also when it's, Jill it's Knutson incredible. began teaching here in the Onalaska School District. Here's another example. Learning how to teach Common Core is probably as rigorous as it is for kids who are starting to learn under the Common Core. It's definitely a huge shift in thinking. So this is our Common Core edition. So Schools bought new textbooks and teachers underwent new training, all in the name of the new rules. Lots of time, lots of time, lots of professional development. So it's got some, you know, it's got some financial implications. On Alaska school officials say all that change was good for their students. They've seen the difference in learning. But with a political battle raging right outside their classrooms, more change could be on the way. Governor Scott Walker says he's proposed a new set of guidelines to replace the Common Core, arguing that standards set outside Wisconsin shouldn't govern our students. Until somebody could come along and say, here's another set of standards to replace them, you know, we would, we would continue to do with what's working for us now. Like Common Core, a new change in classroom standards would take years to implement, so Onalaska schools would likely continue under the current guidelines, even if they were immediately repealed. Uh, so here's an example of a mentor. Good news for Jill, who spent her entire teaching career focused on Common Core. Just in the two years that we've had Common Core implemented, I think we've already spent so much time and energy. Once you have something going and it's fine-tuned and you're moving along and it's, it's hard to stop and change is hard for people. But school officials say more change in the future wouldn't necessarily be bad. When something new is imposed, it's proven, it's better, it's, it's not just a concept, but it's, um, it's actually materials that are going to improve what we have now. Now, four years ago, when Common Core was first introduced here in Wisconsin, Governor Walker actually signed on to the idea and it was adopted here, although he's come out against it recently. This coming school year will be the first year schools are required to use those Common Core standards, Mike. All right, thanks a lot, Leah. And the latest legislation to remove Common Core standards in Wisconsin died in the Senate this past session without seeing any action.